How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. We have found even more secret features and secret changes to the game within update 9, the most recent update. These are things that Playground Games didn't tell us about in the live stream or the changelog. It's just nowhere to be found, yet it's been added to the game. We're going to cover all of these secret changes which people have found in this video. If you do enjoy this video guys please do consider subscribing to the channel. We do stuff like this all the time. I cover everything Forza related. Let's get into it. So if you look at the changelog of the most recent update, general, cars, event lab, everything, it just doesn't cover the stuff we're going to talk about in today's video. It's really strange that they've not mentioned some of this stuff. We've got a super speed change, we've got decal changes, horizon promo, they're just all sorts. I want to start off by showing you a new feature within the decal creator, you know, where you can add stickers to your car decal, decal, however you want to pronounce it, I say decal. When you go to apply decals to your car and you pick a shape, whatever, in this example I'm going to use the black star, you will now have the ability, as seen in the bottom left, to change the material of the sticker from glossy to matte. As you can see here, I compare the matte to the gloss, you can go up and down the slider. If you just wanted a little bit more glossy than usual, a bit more matte, there's leeway. It's very self-explanatory really, when it's glossy it's reflective and you can see the room around you. When it's matte it's not reflective and it's a matte finish. So I'm sure this is going to open up a world of opportunities to all sorts of people within the you know, designer community. The only downside to this though is this material slider, as seen here, applies to every sticker that's on the car rather than the individual sticker you're highlighted on. So as you can see here, I put a big black sticker on each side of the GTR, change it to matte, and both stickers change to matte, so you can't individually change the material of each sticker. Now the next secret thing is quite a strange one. Don Joe One Song did a video yesterday about how he managed to get a Koenigsegg Jesko up to 617 kilometers per hour, which is a speed that we've never been able to hit before. And how did he do this? For some reason, when you drive the Koenigsegg Jesko with the boosted horsepower, which I'll show you in a second, it is all of a sudden, within update 9, so much faster. You used to only be able to get it up to about 320 miles an hour, or well now you can get it to pretty much 400 miles per hour. We are really confused as to why this happened. For some reason within this update, the Koenigsegg Jesko has had some kind of boost, some physics boost to be made quicker within the event lab sort of boosted horsepower thing. If you don't know what the boosted horsepower thing is, let me explain that now. There is a rule in event lab, which I'm going to try and show on screen, where you can basically scale the engine torque or the engine power by a factor of two. This essentially allows you to go into Event Lab, make your own race, and all of the cars are just a little bit faster. I think 50% faster, which allows you to go and drive a 1600 horsepower Supra, but that's actually 2400 horsepower. A bit of a horsepower boost. Now, if you look on screen, many months ago, I did a video on this where I was in the Koenigsegg Jesko and it got to 320 miles an hour fairly normal. But for some reason, when I go on that exact same race today, the exact same tune, everything is exactly the same, the Koenigsegg is even quicker. It's just ridiculously quick. Once again, I'll have footage on screen and the Jesko is just ungodly quick now and it took me a while to keep the car stable since it's really not built for 390 miles an hour. 394 is the most I managed to get out of it, but the weird thing is, is as I said, this only seems to apply to the Koenigsegg Jesko. I got in the Ford Mustang, which is one of the fastest cars in the game as well, and this topped out at 280 miles an hour, which is actually slower than it went a few months ago in my other video. 
really strange. I also tried it with the Bugatti Chiron and that once again only topped out at 284 miles an hour as well. So why the Koenigsegg Jesko can do these ungodly speeds I don't know, but if you want to do this for yourself, here's how you do it. I've already got a race that goes up and down the highway built for this, so all I have to do is search for the share code seen on screen right now and play this race that's called High Horsepower. Um, and just pick the Koenigsegg Jesko. Now you need to make sure you've got some kind of top speed tune on the Jesko. So go to tuning, go to load setup and try to find a Jesko tune that's built for top speed and it should be good enough. And go and play my race and just go up and down the high rate and your Jesko will do these stupid, stupid speeds. I want to see if anybody can get to 400 miles an hour. I got quite close. Now we may have figured out why this has happened. There's been far, quite a few talks on Twitter and comments in my videos lately about update 9 having some sort of physics change to the vehicles this guy commented car physics seem to have changed a bit some cars with a high center of gravity such as the the jimmy are more likely to roll over after the update they don't know why they didn't mention it in the stream or the changelog and i agree something doesn't feel the same it doesn't feel bad but it feels different there's been quite a few people say that. I want to know if you guys have experienced this as well. But maybe this physics change has really benefited the Jesko in some way and made it as quick as it now is. We're not really entirely sure. I mean, there's a possibility it's related to the recent addition to the Hennessy Venom F5 to Forza Horizon 5. The Hennessy Venom F5 is also a contender to be the fastest car in the game and in, in the world just like the Koenigsegg Jesko. Maybe there's some beef going on between them where the Jesko has to be faster, so they've had to make it quicker. I don't know. It might be related, no idea. Chris Clark in my comment section said that apparently they have changed Horizon promo to allow you to photograph some previously unphotographable cars, he said. Is that a word? Unphotographable? Now I'm not entirely sure which vehicles he means, presumably he maybe means the traffic vehicles, but if this is real, that's quite a cool addition they've added, there are even more cars to photograph now. This next one we're not sure if it's intentional or not, but they have added, as we know, five new Hot Wheels vehicles to the game this sort of week, three of which are in wheel spins and the other two are in festival playlist. however, for some reason you can actually get the two festival playlist exclusive cars through wheel spins. So these are cars that you're, I think, supposed to be able to get through the festival playlist only, but you can actually get through wheel spins as well, which is really odd. I don't know if it was intentional or not, but if you have wheel spins, go and roll them in Horizon 5 right now, as you might get some of the new Hot Wheels vehicles, especially the ones which are festival playlist only at the moment. I've tried to get them, I've had so many wheel spins that I haven't got any, not even one of the new Hot Wheels vehicles, which is kind of annoying. Please do let us know guys in the comment section below if you found anything else new within Update 9 that I've not mentioned or anyone else has mentioned because it's quite strange that they've added so many little strange additions and changes that they didn't mention, but I'm not complaining. That's it for Update 9 guys, this is probably our last Update 9 video, we've probably covered everything now anyway. The next one is Update 10, I will have a video about that, you know, soon, within the next couple of days, so keep an eye out for that. Make sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this, and I'll see you all later.